U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has recently ordered the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier to extend her presence in the Mediterranean Sea. This decision aims to uphold a two-carrier presence near Israel amid the ongoing conflict with Hamas. The USS Gerald R. Ford stands as the pinnacle of the U.S. Navy's technological advancements, serving as the newest and most sophisticated aircraft carrier. Designated as the lead ship of the Ford-class carriers, it signifies a significant advancement in the Navy's ability to project power globally, exemplified by its recent deployment in the Middle East. So, in this video, let's take a closer look at the world's largest and most expensive warship ever constructed. The USS Gerald R. Ford, designated CVN-78, is the lead ship of the Gerald R. Ford class of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, widely considered among the most advanced in the U.S. Navy and the world. The USS Gerald R. Ford's construction commenced with the laying of its keel on November 14, 2009, marking the formal initiation of the shipbuilding process. This significant event symbolized the onset of the carrier's development. On November 9, 2013, the ship reached a pivotal moment when it was christened by the daughter of Gerald R. Ford. This time-honored tradition not only symbolizes the official transfer of the vessel to the water, but also serves as a significant milestone in the ship's journey from construction to deployment. On May 31, 2017, the USS Gerald R. Ford was officially delivered to the U.S. Navy. Shortly thereafter, she achieved a historic milestone with its first fixed-wing aircraft landing when an F-A-18F Super Hornet multi-role fighter aircraft successfully executed an arrested landing on the flight deck. With a displacement of around 100,000 tons, the Gerald R. Ford class surpasses its predecessor, the Nimitz class, while accommodating a reduced crew size of 500 to 900 members. The USS Gerald R. Ford carrier incorporates 23 new or upgraded systems in comparison to the Nimitz class, such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, advanced radar, increased capacity and storage, improved power generation with two nuclear reactors, enhanced maneuverability, and improved crew living conditions. The reduction in manpower was a pivotal performance parameter. Anticipated benefits of the new carrier technologies include a 30% decrease in maintenance needs and a further reduction in crew workload through enhanced automation. In terms of operational performance distinctions from the Nimitz class, the Ford class has an increased sortie rate of 160 per day, up from 140 per day. Additionally, the ship boasts a weight and stability allowance throughout its 50-year operational service life, alongside a substantial augmentation in electrical power generation and distribution to support advanced technology systems. Interoperability remains a key performance requirement for the USS Gerald R. Ford. The USS Gerald R. Ford is powered by two A-1B nuclear reactors, which provide the ship with unlimited range and the ability to operate for over 20 years without refueling. These reactors also allow the ship to achieve high speeds of over 30 knots. The Ford class features an updated propulsion system too, which includes advanced shafts, bearings, and gears, providing improved reliability and efficiency. The flight deck of the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier is designed to carry a maximum of 90 aircraft, including the Super Hornet, the EA-18G Growler, C-2 Greyhound, F-35s, as well as various helicopters and UAVs. The deck features the new electromagnetic aircraft launch system with four steam catapults and four arrest tour wires for aircraft launch and recovery. The USS Gerald R. Ford's first deployment departed in October 2022. Engaging in operations and training exercises alongside NATO allies in the Atlantic Ocean, the carrier made international port visits in Nova Scotia and the UK in October and November 2022, respectively. In May 2023, the ship commenced its first full-length deployment and participated in additional NATO exercises near Oslo, Norway, followed by drills in the Arctic. 
In June 2023, the ship sailed to the Mediterranean, arriving in split Croatia for crew rest. Following the Hamas attack on Israel on October 8, 2023, U.S. Secretary of Defense directed the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group to the eastern Mediterranean to enhance regional deterrence efforts. The second ship in the class, USS John F. Kennedy, is currently under construction and is scheduled to be commissioned in 2025, a year later than the service's most recent projection. The remaining ships in the class are in various stages of planning and construction. So, what do you think about the largest warship ever constructed? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Defense Central for the latest defense news and analyses.